Consequently, uh, from the snowstorms of the winter, on the Zuzbeki uh, steps, all the way to the uh, hash harvest, the next one in October, yeah. The tribes, Uzbekis, Tajiris, Kazgiris, and Abajanis, uh, had to kneel before the sable robes of Khan. It's this, the third, yeah. Um, you got to supply him with the most harem slaves. Oh, yeah, succulent. Mm -hmm. Just to score goddamn camel sack of the primo hashish that never rotted. Yeah. Well, um, look, after crossing. Uh, the river from Baku, then they had to go over the Caspian Sea. That's a lot bigger than a river. 1887, a whole diplomatic convoy from high and dry of Azerbaijan. They crawled like snakes. Yeah, they did the snake. It's belly first. No pride. Mm -hmm. No style. They crawled on their belly. They slithered. They weren't allowed to use their hands or knees to kiss the, well, ring, just keep it, you know, of the con, subject supplication. Belly first on a, a decayed Persian carpet, not fun. Um, yeah. Oh, toothless one. We need just a, a little bit of primo. Oh. Rot resistant, hashish. I mean, if doing the, doing the snake was such a hit with uh, uh, Sultan Ab Abdul II in uh, Constantinople, Istanbul, well, it might work for this for for the Khan. For the they're trying to con the Khan. Ooh. Well, in all this time, Dusty, oh, his fame. His harem. Uh, no, his 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 work. Uh, he refused. Yeah, he refused to enlighten the Khan or any of Uzbekis as to the real secret of perennial hashish preservation. Otherwise, ooh, his usefulness would be over, and then the slightest mishap on his part, and ah, ah marble chalk, chopping block. I mean, these are tough times in, with tough people back then. Ooh. Uh, rather, Omar, uh, you know, he said, look, I need a whole bunch of new uh, hashish extraction equipment. I I'm making oil here. I'm going to a whole nother level. We're going to be dabbing. Uh, so, so, yeah, he had... He, he, he said, look, and I need a garden. I, where's my sandbox? Oh, benevolent one. Oh, well, Khan the Toothless. Uh, uh, he said, you are so crafty, Omar, the Kush Bush master. You got the workshop? Could you make me uh, a pair of dentures so I could eat more than melons my whole life? Uh, okay, yeah. So th they agreed. 17 sandboxes. In each sandbox, they had different gradients of dust, sandy dust, you know, depending on... Uh, how deep uh, Omar wanted to dive into his trip. Um, yeah, oh, and beech trees, uh, cypress trees. Yeah, his own private thash, thrashing garden, interspersed or reflecting pools. Oh, kiosks to make love in on those padded divans. Yeah, he did it up like uh, in the style of uh, the old man of the mountain, Hashishan, Element Rock. Yeah, pleasure garden. La, let me, uh, that worked for him. <laughs> let me, uh, I'll, I'll just uh, go with his. Uh, the flow of his style. Oh, then and then reflecting pools, exotic fish from the Oral Sea. Mm -hmm. um, and then here comes his uh, favorite harem lover, 
the always moist one. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is before breakfast, before the naan, even didn't leaven. Way before 11 o'clock, she came in and they practiced their Tantra. I mean, the Mongols had come through and they had ripped up the Tantra from the Chinese in the Forbidden City. So they started doing forbidden stuff. Enlightenment through cunnilingus and fellatio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always moist one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Well, Omer the Dust Mouse, he's set up. He's got the 17 sandboxes. He's got, you know, all the sacks that, you know, to keep him motivated. Uh, so anytime he wants to have a, a, a red kush bush smear attack, dusty freak out, mm -hmm, just gee in his own backyard. Well, <clears throat> twist in the plot. It's about time. Let's... Uh, Let's, if you can, take our imaginations from Samarkand in northern Uzbekistan and fly it all the way west to Istanbul to the world headquarters of Ottoman Empire and a Topkapi Palace. Yeah. Sultan Abdul II. Uh, he's, he's panicking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Janissary Guards, his crack military commandos, they're, they're, they're mutinying. And when they don't like something, they tip over the big food pots as a sign of we're on strike. Take your food and... Not only that, the peasants, we're talking the Anatolian forlorn can't get laid peasants, they're marching towards... Uh, Istanbul, they're, they're regrouping in Bursa. They're on just north of the Sea of Marmara. They're headed for downtown Istanbul. They want the head of Abdul II. Oh, ah, his head's on the block. But worst of all, I mean, he's got a harem with 400 women all vying to be his best uh-uh. No head, no fellatio, no hashish. I mean, how boring is, is it already? What do we do? We can play backgammon, uh, weave bla braids in our hair. You won't let us go to Istanbul. We're trapped. No hashish, no head. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, Abdul, huh? He had to like send. We had a few faithful inner bodyguards sent him to Khan the Toothless the third you know well he had uh, spies alliances with some uh, Abizajani uh, double agents yeah so from Sevchenko <clears throat> on the west coast of the Caspian Sea you know where that is of course uh, they traveled uh, together these uh, these uh, uh, top uh, Janissaries uh, they were disguised. They were cleverly disguised, you know, galumphing towards uh, Samarkand as a Silk Road caravan. They didn't have much imagination. Couldn't you do better than that, Silk Road caravan? I mean, isn't everything a Silk Road caravan? Well, anyway, yeah, they had to cross that Ustad Desert by the Oral Sea, and uh, yeah, with their uh, double agent Azerbaijanis pointing out the way. They've never been over here before. They just go to the Caucasus Mountains and uh, take a lot of Caucasian women as sex slaves. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't do their Muslim chicks because of their religion, so they had to, you know, kind of like <laughs> in Syria recently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And float down the river. Well, kind of, you know, the, the oxes, huh? In f flotilla formation for a Zach water buffalo belly attack. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 